Hello, this is Claude White, and now that the dust has settled after the Pacquiao-Thurman fight, what is next for Manny Pacquiao? Now, I have a couple of suggestions, but there's only about one, to be quite honest, that makes the most sense for Pacquiao. It might be a long shot, but I believe it is the best shot for Manny Pacquiao. Right now, where would he rank all time? Well, you know what? His story is still going, so I'm not going to say where he would rank until he actually retires because obviously one or two fights can change your legacy when you're headed out the door. As we know, the kings of the um, welterweight division right now are Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford, and Errol Spence. Now, to be quite honest, I don't see him fighting either one of these guys. The one that would make more sense for him would be Errol Spence. I think if Pacquiao fought him, that would probably be his last fight. I believe Spence or Crawford could retire him. But that leaves really one name, dare I say it, the biggest name, in boxing. And I understand that he hasn't fought since, well, he hasn't really fought a true boxing match since he fought Andre Berto. I do not count the Conor McGregor fiat. I mean, that was something for him to make a quick buck and Conor McGregor a quick buck as well. Um, obviously, that exhibition doesn't count. And yes, I am talking about Floyd Money Mayweather. Now, if you know how I feel, we all got robbed the first time they fought. I mean, it was a snooze fest. And I don't blame Money Mayweather as much as I blame Pacquiao. And Pacquiao came up with an excuse. Oh, my leg was messed up. Okay, so be it. Now, obviously, it would take a huge amount of money for Mayweather to come out of retirement. I mean, I don't think he wants to um, destroy that pristine 50-0 um, record. That being said, I do believe if you have those guys split the pot, I would say 50-50, um, 100 million going to Pacquiao and 100 million to upwards to 150 million going for Money Mayweather, I do believe that Floyd Money Mayweather would take that fight. I mean, now, there would be no excuses for Pacquiao, and it would be a chance for Pacquiao to avenge that loss. Now, would it, be, it would be interesting to see if Mayweather, who still trains sparingly, would take this fight and put his unblemished record on the line. Now, I'm going to be honest. As far as Pacquiao's legacy, it would show much greater if he fought an Errol Spence or a Bud Crawford. And if he actually went the distance with either one of those guys, you would have to look at Pacquiao in a different light. I mean, you already have to with the win on Keith Thurman, but I do believe that he was sort of made to order for Keith one time Thurman. Um, Thurman is a slow fighter. He's a slow starter. And as I said in, in the build up before the fight um, on Wednesday, I said I did not trust Keith one time Thurman. He did everything he could to lose that fight. I mean, he was talking about fighting everybody else but Pacquiao, and you see the end result. Now Crawford, I'm not going to say that he's a speed demon, but he reminds me almost of Marvin Hagler. And when he turns southpaw, he is deadly. And I, I tell you, Manny Pacquiao should be and would be scared to death to fight against Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, you can make a case, are the lights too bright for Crawford? Because he's never had a real big-time pay-per-view. Most of his fights, let's be fair, have been in, in Omaha, Nebraska. Now, Pacquiao has been all over the world, and he's right at home where the bright lights are. 
You want to make the same case for Errol Spence? Well, Errol Spence at least has fought in big pay-per-views. He's up and coming. And I do think Spence is the more well-rounded fighter. You could make the case that Crawford is more dangerous of a fighter. I mean, Crawford could retire you with one punch. Now, Errol Spence is a well-rounded fighter. You saw how he was against Mikey Garcia. In fact, he actually showed Mikey Garcia almost too much respect. I do not think he would do that against one Manny Pacquiao. But Pacquiao's footwork might give them both a problem, but here's where Crawford would even be more dangerous because when he turns southpaw, he is just deadly. And again, he reminds me so much of Hagler because he definitely has bad intentions with every crushing blow. But if I were Pacquiao, I would really seek out a rematch against Floyd Money Mayweather. He is still the biggest name in boxing, and it would make the most sense for him. And of course, let's face it, cash rules everything around him. Please like, share, and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. This is Claude White. Take care, and God bless.